All right, welcome Ooh, back. We're the Bourbon we're Junkies. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm excited for this. Dan isn't. Megas Mark license plate. That's Sean. VP. I'm Dan. And if you want to watch this review, then subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stick it. I forgot you're just stupid. All right, new makers. BEP. Great. Limited 2023. Can't wait. Wood finishing series. Bought this so we could review it. Can't wait to get into it. I will say, Maker's Mark Seller, as we all do now know, almost perfect. Uh, Yeah, that's gonna probably be in Whiskey of the Weir. Weir? It will be in Whiskey uh, of the Weir. Whiskey of the Weir. And Whiskey of the Year. So uh. now here's the thing. Apparently, I thought uh, the Maker's Mark Seller series is a new thing, a different thing. This is obviously the license plate series. Is ADHD whiskey coined it? Genius for it's saying the wood that. finishing series. They had started this uh, what four years back, I think. Literally not about really. four years ish. I I don't know. I put when they started this up on the the screen right now. Um, I might I've like always been a big fan. Know. Dan has always been kind of on the fence about them. No, I've disliked them. I, I think. Um, most of them are very hard to remember which one you thought you liked. And S then SE4 I, and RC6. We're both great. But you're just, you're not even, that's not even the real names. Yeah. No, it's not. SE6 what? SE4. SE4 what? FAE. XPR5, uh, I yeah. think. Okay. Silly. So anyways, here's the thing. I might like this one. Can I tell you why? Go ahead. You know what BEP stands for? Big erect. Well. <laughs> Uh, barrel entry proof. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that kind of makes me a little bit excited. It's a 110 barrel entry proof, so if you were wondering. It, so is this 110 proof? It was when it entered the barrel. What and then it? it aged for a certain amount of time and it lost or gained, take a guess. And it really depends. It's 50-50. Gained. Lost. Dang it. Bye. Mm, 0.4. It lost 0.4 proof over its life. Um, tasting notes and expression with prominent wood sugars. Love to hear that. Bringing forth strong notes of vanilla. Always love vanilla. Love caramel. And I also love sweet spice, which is what the label says. Oh, nice. So it, and then all that. this is to celebrate our special 110 entry proof. We've created an expression that features even more of what you get from a lower entry proof. More wood sugars, more barrel characteristics, etc. That is usually some of my favorite things in whiskey is this, the freaking Michter's is, that's why Michter's is so great. Yeah. Like a 103 entry proof or something like that. Yeah. And it tastes phenomenal. Well, before we get into the whiskey, we'll talk about the sponsor today's video. Let's do it. Into the AM, as you see Dan sporting a new zip hoodie. Into the AM just launched their fall collection and I love what they've added to their store. My wife loves to keep our house at a balmy 65, so I keep myself warm in their hoodies and joggers. Honestly, the joggers are some of my favorite pants that I own. Whether you're looking to keep it minimal with some of the basic tees or spice it up with some awesome graphic tees, Into the AM has you covered. Click the link in the description for 10% off. That discount stacks on top of their already awesome bundles. Check them on out. Hit them up. Sport you people sport nuts. Grab every hoodie they have available and then never think about buying another hoodie again until we release merch. That's fair. We love you guys. Now let's get into this. Okay. Ooh, I wa want it in my mouth. I love it. We'll I see. love it. We'll see about that. That smells one. amazing. Does it? Yeah. Does it? Let me smell your. Yeah. What is your deal oh, right now? Okay. You got a bad Glenn? Daddy needs a new glass. Got a bad uh, glass. Yeah, huh? that, uh, yours smells phenomenal. Yeah. I don't even want to say I that. I thought you were kind of messing with me no, a little bit. Yours smells great. This kind of reminds me of cellar, just a smidge. There's a hint of beautiful. It's very, oh. very like, um, like just a caramel covered rose up front. It's a little flowery, but very, very sweet. There we go. It is sugary as F. Okay. It is very sweet up front. Oh. Almost a- I love you. What? Chocolate covered coffee bean in there too, I think. It, it, <laughs> smells like a, it smells like a chocolate covered coffee bean with taste. You know how sometimes you smell something that smells like a flavor rather than like a scent? Man. Oh. I'm gonna try that again. Cause it tastes like if you mix Bailey's and uh, maple syrup. I don't know why. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, it's like really chocolatey, it's thick, but it's syrupy. That's odd. It's almost got an Andy's mint in it. It's not what I was expecting at all. Oh, you it, think it's minty? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, and I'm, I'd stick by that minty note. I think that minty note lingers. 
Not like a rye wood though. You know what I mean? I don't don't think of like an MGP rye mint. Think of just like a soft, sweet mojito mint esque. I don't get a chocolate and syrup. I don't get a lot of caramel or vanilla. Do you? Maybe our palates are broken. That is a very non stereotypical whiskey. Or bourbon, I think. I'm this very. Is con I, I don't. I like you're saying. I don't get the caramel that I was getting on the nose. Like yeah. I was attributing that to like the sweetness. Sure. I think it's more maple syrup. I don't get any maple syrup. You don't get no syrup. Literally no syrup. I'd almost say a negative amount of syrup. I'd almost say. Well, I thought your Andy's mint uh, note was dumb, but you know I didn't say that. <laughs> <sighs> it, there's a mintiness in there. Wrong. Herbality. Herbaceous. It could be a little herbaceous. Herbaceous. I can see that. There's a spice. And I do feel like it's a little herbal. I'm uh, equating that to mint. It's minty. It's minty. That has a what? That's that is so a confusing. fresh leaf of something. A fresh green note, not a vegetable. It's not vegetal. You're saying like a is like it a like spice a, maybe of some like sort? a tea? Think of tea and go back. You drink way more tea than I do. I don't. I need to like eat more green shit. If we're being honest, I think that's the problem. It's it's more savory, like a. Like oh, I don't sage. hate savory. <clears throat> I don't hate savory. It is a little fatty. Man, dude, no, I just, it is herbal. I'm gonna use the word herbal. I'm good with herbal. I'm not, agree I'm, with I'm the not thing. quite putting my finger That's okay. on it. I agree, okay, there, it's very herbal. Yeah. Um, It is definitely spicy, it's warm. Drinks, I, I that drinks way higher than 109 proof to me. I'm just gonna go through my spice cabinet because I feel like it's, I want to say sage, but it's not that. It's not quite it's not there time. yet. Definitely not thyme. It ain't a, a rosemary. Not, I was just going to say that. Too. Could be a parsley, maybe? I don't know. That is very odd. That is not There's, at all what I expected. And if I'm being completely I honest, like I feel this. like the front label is a little misleading. I'm just, just pointing that out. Cellar. I'm, it's good to see that cellar is significantly better than this. Cellar is $150 retail. If you found it, right? Yeah. If um, you found that at retail for 150, you found this at retail for around 70, it looks like. We paid 76 for this. So if this is around $70 and this was as good as seller, you'd be upset that you bought seller. Seller's fan and, and seller really is phenomenal whiskey. I'm sorry, I'm not getting a lot of notes. I'm really just going through my mind right now and trying to figure out what that is. Um, it is a little woody. <laughs> Doesn't taste toasted. It smells like if you took apple juice and steeped green tea in it. See, it is, I get like the Maybe tea, a black tea. That's, I don't, I don't have not drank, I think I've had black tea maybe twice ever, probably once. The yeah. longer it sits here, I get like, I do have less in the glass. I get like a, a light citrus in, I feel like there's a lot going on. I do too, but I don't, I'm not madly in love with it. I also don't think there's, I don't find anything like appalling. I don't think there's anything wrong. The finish is nice. It is spicy, it's warm. Uh, the finish lasts quite a while. I feel like it's really hard to specify the flavors that are in there though. This is a very difficult, subjectively a difficult bottle for me to get. I think that's good. I think this is actually bumping the grade up for me because I have sat here and I've really thought about what is in the whiskey. It, it feels like there is a lot going on. It is not the, the path of like what normal bourbon is in right now for me. Like I'm not just picking it up and going, all right, cool. That's red fruit and caramel. Like. I feel like there's a lot of different things going on in here. I don't know, I just, I like it. I just don't think that I would ever pick it up. Like I would never walk out here and choose that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's unique though. And it's not it's not gross or bad. There's nothing wrong with it. I really like that. I really do. A lot I of think chocolate. It... Now, what's up? The more that I drink <laughs> that, a lot of chocolate in there. It is herbal. Um, not a, not floral. You're gonna end up in my house. Kind of off profile makers almost. Yeah. Honestly. Cause what's I'm gonna- the, What's the grade you give it? I'm gonna take one more drink and now I'm gonna give that grade. Do you have one? Yeah, I give that, if, if I'm gonna call 70 retail, just for the sake of this. We paid 76. Um, I'm gonna give that grade, I'm gonna give yeah. that a flat B. I'm gonna give that a B. I almost went B minus. But there's nothing, it's not like glaringly bad or wrong or anything. I'll go B. I'm gonna go A minus. I, listen, listen, hear me out on this one. Let me, let me try to even talk you up to a B plus. Oh, I'm never going to B plus. That's I was in B minus. Disappointing, wow. Okay, it is, it's completely off the map of Agreed. a lot of other stuff I right now. I completely agree. But everything that it is, it is, is good. It drinks really well. 
The proof it's is very great. Herbal. It's got a good finish on yep. it. It's interesting in the mouth. I think you can sit down and dissect it a lot. I think it's good experiential whiskey. I, I don't hate it at all, man. I just don't think it's a minus. It's not flashy. You know I, what I mean? I love this. I I really do love this. I hmm. think this might be one of my favorite ones. From I the wood finishing would have to put it next to um, RC6 and. SE4. Those mm. were my two favorite. Those are at my house right now. Um, I haven't touched those in a while, though. I might like this one a little bit more. I think there's a, a bigger breadth of uh, flavors going on in here. Sounds like this might be the end of it. That's our first, unfortunate. Our first chapter of the wood finishing series has been a way to of honoring all the elements that make Maker's Mark. But with this seventh and final expression, we're closing the chapter. I think that's a good one to go off on. Sure. A B out of Dan is basically an A plus for everyone else. Uh, I gave Cellar an A plus. That's got a little hint of that Cellar action on there. No, just just a little bit. No, that's fucking blasphemy. Yeah, you might as well have said Jesus wasn't in that tone. You know what I mean? Tomb. You can say however you want. Tato Tato. It's close. Oh, shut your fucking whore mouth, dude. You know it's not. It's not. Cellar was yeah, whiskey amazing. of the year whiskey. Yeah. This is like, I'd rather have that Heaven Hill bottle in the bond. 